Hey everybody, welcome back. As we mentioned, we're going to work dynamic flexibility. We're from ground up. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go feet close, arms out. We're going to work ankle mobility, calf flexibility. All right, stomach stays in tight, pelvis stays in square. Try and feel position of your pelvis from the side. It's going to look like this. Slow and steady movement patterns, control and look for flexibility to lengthen that tissue of the tendon in the muscle. Eyes up. Okay, second one, we're gonna do marches. For your hip flexor, you're gonna have the same position. This is for high hamstring flexibility. Maintain that position, stomach tight, feet are up, knees are up. And when I say feet up, I want toes to be lifted. I don't want them to stay flat. So you're gonna pull, into your stomach, stay control, controlled and strong through your abs. Put your hands out for balance. If you want to get tricky, come out here and do it. Make sure you lead through those toes. Stomach stays tight. Okay, the next one, we're going to do butt kickers, all right? Basically, it's going to be like this, and I want your toe to be flattened out, so push through your toe. Same position. Go. Arms out for balance. And when you pull behind you, don't let it come up. You already did hip flexor. Now we're doing hamstrings to stretch your quads. Again, from the side, it's going to look like this. Stay tight through your stomach. Don't arch your back. Pulling through your belly button. All right, nice job. Next one, we're going to do lunge position. So you're going to maintain a running position or stride. Feet's going to be flat. Back foot's going to be straight. Nice and controlled. Keep your pelvis square. You're just letting your trunk go. From here up, rib cage up is rotating. You can alter this. You can do long arms. You can do bent elbows. Again, from the side, it's going to maintain this position. Long arms. Bent elbows. Stay going. 30 second intervals. Then what we're going to do, you got to switch sides on that one. So again, foot square, knees bent, stride position, long arms. Bend the elbows. Nice, nice. Stay tight in your stomach. Control. Okay, next one, we're going to start working hip stability. Now all we want to do, you're going to go into a base. Arms are out. And what you're going to do is you're going to come up, sidestep, sidestep. Running pattern, running pattern. That's going to work that lateral hip to control. Make sure it doesn't pop out. It's got to stay straight and strong. There you go. Stay controlled through your abs. Keep the motion. So now you're working different diagonal patterns for movement. Last one for your lower body. Arms are going to be out. We're going to go heel or toe up. We're going to do those Frankensteins. That's for your hamstring. Stay controlled through your core. That's the key. Stay really tight in your abs. Keep going from the side. Lead from your toe. Stay strong through your spine. Nice and controlled. You're working balance. You're working hip stability. You're working hamstring opposite leg flexibility. Keep that leg straight too. Don't let it bend when you lift, all right? Nice job. Now we're going to move into your upper body. You're going to maintain an athletic position. Sit down into your position. Arms are here like you're holding a basketball, soccer ball, football. Pelvis is square. Just do a trunk rotation. Try and get that elbow to swing back 
without side bending, without losing your pelvis. So from the side, sit down in your athletic position, trunk control, trunk control. Pelvis is tight, pelvis is square, lower back is stable, thoracic spine is mobile. Nice job, that's 30 second intervals. The next one, we're gonna do long rotation with your arms. So this is gonna work deacceleration. You're gonna bring that arm right out here. Control the motion. Again, you're sitting down into your athletic position. Get down in here, control, and only bring that arm straight back, straight forward. Don't let it cross. It stays right here to learn to deaccelerate through your obliques. Stay into your athletic position. Preparation is the key, stability is the key. All right, then what we're gonna do from this position, you're gonna hold, you're gonna lock it in, and you're just gonna swing back and forth. Now with here, you can get a little bit of a side step or a side shift, but don't let it pop up. Stay strong in that hip. And we're really not over the top much. We're up, getting used to it. Mobility-wise of your spine, getting used to a stable hip in order to change direction. So control, control, control. Then what you want to do is you want to bring that up. You're going to go still athletic position. Arms or hands are going to be open. We're going to increase that rotation now. You're going to go here, reach, and then you can lift, you can let this open like you're pushing through in preparation for acceleration after a change in direction. Stay in your hips until you push to that side. And let this reach, 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 shift, reach, shift, reach, shift, reach. Again, when you shift here, don't let that pop out. So from the side, it shift, reach, reach, reach. Almost like you're getting ready to push that toe. All right? Good job, good job. We got one more. Ready? We're going to do full body now. You're going to go in down in a deeper athletic position, and you're going to reach. Come back down here, deeper squat. There you go. And as you reach, let this open up. Let it open up and reach all the way from your toe to your finger. Push, pull, push. Prepare, push. Prepare, push. Here we go. From the side, it's going to look like this. Squat. Push away so you get used to that rotational, that diagonal pattern, and up. Give me five more. Remember, we're doing 30 second interviews or intervals. Set your timer. There's three, four, four, five, five. Nice job, everybody. That's in preparation for activity, uh, athletic events. It's a great stationary warm-up since we're all locked inside. You do this before you move into dynamic warm-up, which is running patterns, controls, change of direction, movement patterns. I hope this is beneficial to you. If you have any questions, leave them down below or email me at exerciseinnovation at gmail.com. Check out the webpage and subscribe for more videos as they come out. Thanks, and thanks for being part of Team EI. Thanks.